If you're going to be porting in Ashdod, here are a few places that you're going to want to see. One thing to note is that if you're going to Israel, they have quite an extensive customs procedure. On the morning that we arrived in Ashdod, we had an early excursion. So we got off the ship early in order to get our customs. As you can see here, it was to our benefit that we did customs early because we were able to skip this huge line that took about an hour and a half to get through. Once we got through, we had to go through security and then we were allowed to go on our excursion. And believe me, after that lineup, we were ready to get on the road. Our first stop was the Mount of Olives, which took us about an hour. It is a beautiful place to stop because you can see a panoramic view of the old city of Jerusalem. There were camels up there as well as people selling their goods. So you gotta brush up on your bartering. As you can see here, there are all these graves that are buried on top of the earth. It's a very important place for the Jewish people because they believe that the people who are buried here will rise first when the Messiah comes. And here's the Dome of the Rock inside the city walls. Next we went down to the bottom of the Mount of Olives to the Garden of Gethsemane. This is the place that Jesus prayed before he was crucified. On this property is the Church of All Nations, also known as the Basilica of Agony. It's located on a beautiful olive grove. Next we took a short bus ride up to the city walls. We walked through the Dun Gate and a little further to the Western Wall. This wall is a very holy site to the Jewish people because it is one of the last remnants of the Herodian Temple. It's here where you can tuck your prayer into the cracks of the wall. Next we walked in another gate and we started upon the Via Della Rosa which is the place where Jesus walked carrying his cross. It's within these walls that you can see a little picture of Muslim and Jewish life. Along these streets you can pick up a piece of baklava or bread. Once we reached the Via Della Rosa, then we started the Stations of the Cross. These stations lead you all the way to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where you can take some time to think about what happened on the day that Jesus was crucified. Finally, we made our way to the Holy Sepulchre and we walked into this magnificent building. Some say this is where Jesus' tomb was. We left Jerusalem through the Jaffa Gate and then headed to the Qumran and the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is known to be the lowest place on the earth and it has this magnificent salt lake where you float. It was a long 10 hour day and now we're heading back to the ship.